So today I will be teaching you how a stopwatch or a counter works. Now it may seem odd that this is Minecraft, but it is basically the same principle. Now what you have right here is a basic display. It has nothing connected to it, so it has no power going through it, so it won't turn on. This next thing is something you call a decoder. It is what sends the signal to the light sources which make it light up. So say if you wanted to make a 5, all you have to do is hit the right levers, and when you go to see the display, it'll say 5. Or if you want to make a 7, same thing. The next thing I had to make was the actual timer. This keeps track of how long a second actually is. You can also calibrate it to make it go slower or faster. The next thing I added was a singular counter. This just sends one signal through, so it will only change the number one digit. The next thing I made was the battery. This battery is designed a certain way to make the numbers light up and appear as actual numbers, not a jumbled mess. What I did here is I just moved the battery to a specific spot so it will send the signals all the way through. That is why you saw the number 8 light up because it is making every light source light up. That red stuff around the battery, let's call it the tape. What the tape is used for is to send a specific signal to make a number actually appear. The tape rotates around the battery, sending that specific signal through, creating each individual number. The number I was making was a 4, so all you have to do is keep doing this until you have every number put in, 0 through 9. When everything is in its proper order, all you have to do is hit the button and it'll start counting. And I found this stopwatch to be actually pretty accurate. It is at calibrated at one second. I pulled out my phone and I did the stopwatch and it's pretty much the same time. One problem I did have while I was working on it is that I accidentally overloaded the signal while I was trying to work so it kind of blew up on me. I learned that if you overload anything, it will cause the circuit to short circuit, and in this case, my circuit blew up.